माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराथ्री फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू डाटा एक्विजिशन सिस्टीम ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू नो वट इज एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल सिग्नल्स ओके सो एनालॉग सिग्नल और एनालॉग सिस्टीम इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वोल्टेजेस लाइक वन वोल्ट टू वोल्ट थ्री वोल्ट इट हैज सम वैल्यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एनालॉग फॉर्म ओके एंड वट इज डिजिटल कंट्रोल सिस्टीम इट हैज डिजिटल सिग्नल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ जीरो एंड वन दैट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बाइनरी नंबर्स ओके सो यू चेक दिस फर्स्ट डायग्राम सो हियर इन दिस डिजायर्ड एजिमुथ एंगल इनपुट इज हियर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थीटा and which is sensed by potentiometer and it is given to this antenna okay so antenna receives signal in the form of analog form okay so here input is in the form of theta that is angle is input in analog form that is 20 degree 30 degree 40 degree okay and that angle is directly given to this antenna okay so this is called as analog signal but in second diagram you checked there is computer is provided and computer is giving signal to this antenna so computer signal is in the form of digital form okay but antenna requires signal in the form of analog form so that's why we need to use converter so there is written a to d a oblique d and d oblique a these are two converters so computer signal is in the form of digital form which is converted into analog form with the help of d to a converter and again if we want to convert the same signal from antenna to computer then we use analog to digital converter because the computer understand the language in the form digital form that is in the form of 0 1 that is the numbers are shown over here in the graph like this the digital numbers 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 so what are this signal is there here it is analog signal that is in the form of values 1 2 3 4 or anything but over here this signal is divided into digital numbers every step is divided into digital numbers okay so this is the difference between analog and digital signal now analog digital converter so engineering signals are continuous so all the engineering signals are continuous suppose voltage the voltage varies with its over time okay continuously voltage varies suppose you take any sensor its value is in the form of its output is in the form of voltage and that voltage varies over time a chemical chemical reaction rate that depends on temperature a chemical reaction also depends upon temperature so everything varies with respect to temperature or time so analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion allows digital computers to interact with its signals allows digital converters to digital computers to interact with its signals now here you check what is shown over here this is analog input and it is varying with respect to time okay so we have taken samples of this analog input at several points okay and these samples are converted into digital output in the form of steps so you can check over here these are samples we have taken many points 1 2 3 4 5 these are all samples vertical lines are nothing but samples and these samples are converted in the form of steps over here okay these are called as digital output so like this analog to digital output is done so interfacing of sensor or actuator to digital to analog conversion so you can check here suppose one mechanical system is there this is mechanical system the sensor senses any variable from this mechanical system and this variable is amplified with the help of amplifying electronics suppose voltage is there so voltage can be amplified with the help of amplifying electronics then there is data acquisition system is there which acquires data okay acquires data or converts that data in the form of useful form like analog to digital digital to analog and again this signal is given to control system or microcontroller or computer okay so this system again gives signal to data acquisition system data acquisition system again converts the signal from digital to analog form and then again given to amplifying electronics and then given to actuators and actuators again gives some motion to mechanical system okay so are you getting my point so here there is use of data acquisition system so here 
the signal is converted into analog to digital form analog to digital form because the computer or microcontroller understands digital language okay and here there is actuator is provided actuator amplifying electronics they need to understand analog signals that's why here digital to analog converters are used in this process okay so computer have digital signal and digital signal is converted here in the form digital to analog form and then analog is given to actuators and then given to mechanical system okay so like this there is use of data equation system so now this is uh, example is shown here so let us assume that there is one sensor is there okay sensor senses some physical phenomena okay and then signal is given to signal conditioning process okay so signal conditioning conditions the signal that is amplify or rectify the signal and then it is given to daq hardware so this is daq hardware this signal is given to computer so computer uses software for displaying the sample or take some action okay so that action can be taken with the help of actuator okay and then again it is come back to physical phenomena so like this simple interfacing of sensor actuator is shown over here with the help of data equation system so here important part is this data equation hardware so this we have to learn daq hardware because its use is to convert digital signal to analog signal or an analog signal to digital signal okay so this can be done with the help of this daq hardware now same example is shown over here so let us assume any physical system the input of that physical system may be analog may be digital may be counter type sensor type motors relays so signal may be anything or system may be anything so that is sensed by transducer or sensor okay so transducer or sensor sense it so let us assume that our physical system signal is something like this and after sensing the signal is something like this okay so we need to condition that signal so we use signal conditioner here so signal is conditioned with the help of signal conditioner and then we have to use a2d converter for converting into digital form so with the help of a2d converter we convert that signal to digital form and then we send this signal to computer so computer understands this digital form so digital form means it is in the form of numbers of binary like 0010101 0011011 so in the form of binary number signal is converted and that is given to computer so like this process is there so what are the steps in digital acquisition system data acquisition system so first step is the sensor measures behavior of the system so first step is sensor measures behavior of system then the output from the sensor is conditioned that is amplified or filtered okay the conditioned analog signal is digitized using analog to digital converters then we have to use analog to digital converter for converting digital signal the digital information is acquired processed and recorded by the computer then computer acquires process and record this digital information okay next the computer may then modify the system by outputting control signals the computer may then modify the system by outputting control signal now this is the digital control signals are converted to analog signal using again digital to analog converter so if we want to use this signal for analog devices then we have to again convert with the help of d2a converters digital to analog converters then the analog signals are conditioned that is amplified and filtered approximately for an actuator again signal we have to amplify and filter and then we have to then the actuator use gives the desired response then the actuator use desired response so same thing we have seen with the help of this diagram this diagram this diagram all the this diagram gives us same steps that are mentioned over here important in what is important in data acquisition system resolution that is bits and bit width okay so precision of analog to digital conversion process is depend upon number of bits the analog to digital converter of daq is used so number of bits are very important over here suppose you are converting analog to digital form then how many bits are used suppose this is 0 0 then it is called as 3 bit word suppose here it is 0 0 0 1 number is that it is 4 bit word 
so if you increase number of bits then you will get higher resolution okay so this is 3 bit word this is 4 bit worth and this is called as bit width if 4 bit word is there then its bit width is 4 the higher the resolution the higher the number of division the voltage range is broken into and therefore smaller detectable voltage changes okay if you use higher number of bits you will get higher resolution okay and in higher number of voltages voltage range you can be broke so we'll see this in next slide so this is resolution so here you check first graph so here 0 and 1 so 1 bit analog to digital conversion this is called as 1 bit analog to digital conversion it is only 0 and 1 now second graph you check there is, it is 2 bit analog to digital conversion so whatever voltage range is there 0 to 5 volt it is divided into 5 numbers like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so it is 2 bit analog to digital conversion and if you use 3 bit analog to con digital conversion then it is divided into large number of parts and with the above 3, 3 bits 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 so these are the higher number of voltages broken into large number of parts so from this you can conclude that if you use higher number of bits then your voltage range is divided into higher number of parts okay and this is called as resolution of the signal so you can check with the help of example also let us take example a 12 bit digital to analog uh, a 12 bit data equations device with a 0 to 10 volt input range detects a 2.4 millivolt change while the same device with minus 10 volt to 10 volt input range would detect a change of 4.8 millivolt so the formula is here so 10 is nothing but voltage input into 1 upon 2 raised to number of bits so 10 into 1 upon 2 raised to 12 is equal to 2.4 millivolts and for the same if we increase the voltage range that is c is equal to 20 into 1 upon 2 raised to 12 then our answer is 4.8 millivolts okay so like this we can find the change of voltage okay so thank you so much all of you this is relate, related to introduction to data equation system so all points are covered so thank you so much all of you for watching this video